Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the stock dude, back on the prowl again. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create your very own watch list. And I'm gonna show you how to organize stocks on that watch list all in one place. So when it's time to trade them, that you don't forget about them. Cause a lot of us, including myself, got a bad habit of writing ticker symbols down from stocks that I wanna trade on a piece of paper, in a notebook, on a napkin, and then when it's time to actually trade them, when they're ready to be bought, you forget about them. So I'm gonna show you how to organize your trading schedule and put everything that you wanna keep track of all in one place so you won't forget about them. So stay tuned. And we are back. Can y'all tell that I like Bruce Lee? Got him on my screensaver, my desktop thing, everything. Always like my boy Bruce Lee. I'm the one known as the stock dude. And if this happens to be the first time that you are visiting this channel, I ask you to please hit that subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video comes out. You won't miss a thing. Now, last week, I made a video showing you guys how to find stocks between the price of $5 and $10 per share. Now, those of you that rock with your boy, the stock dude, on a regular basis, you remember I showed you guys a screen that'll help you find those low price stocks that won't cost you a lot of money. So right now, I'm going to show you that screen again, and we're going to find you three stocks to trade possibly in the upcoming week. And we're going to also build you a watch list so you can keep those three stocks or any other stocks organized and all in one place so when it's time to pull the trigger and buy them that you don't and that you won't forget about them like i did one time it cost me 800 to a thousand dollars profit that i should have had because I wrote the stock symbol down on a note card and put something on top of it and forgot about it. And then a couple days later, I saw the stock price jump up in the company that I was watching. And that is when it dawned on me that I hadn't pulled the trigger because I forgot about it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to not have that happen to you. Now come with me right now to my favorite and i do mean favorite website by the name of finviz.com this is where it starts and ends with your boy i don't do nothing without checking this website so right here is the screen that i showed you guys on last week's video just to go over it quickly you want to set price above 20 sma 50 day simple moving average price above the 50 and like we said we're looking for stocks between the prices of five dollars per share and ten dollars per share the average volume we want to go with 200k that way we can get in and out of selling stocks quickly not waiting around no long time waiting on no order to process and can't find a buy. Ain't nobody got time for all that. We want liquidity, so we're going with over 200K or more. Relative volume, going with over one. All that means is that every stock pulls up on this list has more than their average amount of daily volume on this particular day's trading. And change from open, we're going to go with up. Now, it's a reason that we're going with up because let me show you this on this home page. I saw something on Friday. Now, today's Monday, the 22nd of November, 
2020. But I saw something on Friday that kind of concerned me. If I can draw your attention right here and show you. See this big red candle right here? Look at that. You see a second big red candle. A third big red candle. Same thing in the NASDAQ. Big red candle right here. Second big red candle. Third big red candle. Same thing in the S&P 500. Big red candle here. Big red candle there. And a huge big red candle. Now, look at these three charts. The Dow, the NASDAQ, S&P 500. Look at what all three of these charts have in common. This big red candle right here on the end at the very end of the day. That, ladies and gentlemen, oh, boys and girls, is something that we got to keep our eye on. Because those big red candles, especially at the end of the day, means that smart money, hedge funds, millionaire investors, picky, picky, billionaire investors seem to be pulling money out of the stock market. Now, for those that don't know, people that buy millions and millions of dollars worth of shares, they are the ones that move stock prices up. They are the ones who move stock prices down. Not you, definitely not me. So when they pull money out of this market, we got to keep our eye on that, man, because your money tied up in a market that these guys who are buying millions and millions of shares are not supporting, if your money is in and theirs is out, yours is at risk and theirs is in the bank. Ain't nobody got time for that. So one thing I know for a fact is that the stock market does not like uncertainty. Stock market likes to know what's what. Sort of like me, I'm like that too. I can handle bad news. As long as I know what the news is, I can deal with the consequences. I just need to know what I'm dealing with. Stock market is just like that. Right now we got two things that's creating uncertainty within the market. The first thing is the coronavirus. Right now in the United States, let me change that. Right now all across the world, the coronavirus cases are spiking and out of control. We got more cases now in November than we had in the very beginning. In March, in April, and May when it was at its highest. But right now it's even higher now than it was back then. Creates those red candles because it's uncertainty. People don't know if the vaccine is going to work. People don't know if other people are even going to take the vaccine. So the stock market is like, okay, uh, I need to figure out what we're doing with these millions and millions of dollars that we got. Should we buy? Should we sell? Let's just take our money until we see what's going on with that. Second thing that's creating uncertainty within this stock market, <laughs> your boy Trump. Yes, I got to say it. Your boy Trump. <laughs> This dude, he think he won the election. For real, man? He lost by like, what, 5 million and some odd votes? But he still think he won the election. Now, whether you believe that the election was rigged or whether you believe that Biden should have won and did win the election, it don't really matter to me. I'm concerned with these big red bars. People that know more than I do look like on Friday they decided to pull money out of the market. It's almost like being on the basketball court as a kid. They decided to just take their ball and go home. Come back another day. So we got to keep our eye on that. So back to this screener. This screener right here once again, the last parameter that we put in changed from open. We put it and set it to up. 
So on this bad day that we have with all these big red bars and the market overall down, 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 big red bars, most things, if you look at the heat map right here, most things went down in price. See, it's very little green within that heat map. A whole lot of red and a whole lot of burgundy because everything pretty much for the most part was going down lower in price. But the screen that I gave you last week and we're looking at right here, these stocks right here actually rose in price, went higher in price when a lot of other stocks went down. So I got three of them that I want to give to you guys to put on your watch list. Two out of the three are not ready to be bought at the moment. I'm going to say it again. Two out of the three that I am watching, that I'm sharing with you for your watch list, are nigga, nigga, not ready to be bought yet. You want to wait for a little pullback. The price is a little high. You want to wait for a little pullback. Now, before I forget, uh, I am not a stock expert, nor do I play one on YouTube. Anything you hear on this channel or any other channel, make sure you do your own due diligence and do your own research. I don't want nobody calling my house talking about stock dude, man, I lost $48.32 messing with you on them picks last week. Don't do it. I ain't gonna answer. <laughs> now, but for real, I'm telling you what I'm watching. These are stocks on my watch list. I'm sharing them with you. You can put them on your very own watch list. My three stocks and any other stocks that you wanna keep up with. That way you won't have happened to you what has happened to me more than one time. Forget about a stock by writing it down in a notebook on a napkin or on a piece of paper or a note card and then forget about it. And then two, three days later, you look on TV and your stock that you did not buy, but you had saw and looked at the chart on, jumped in price and you get nothing. So the three that I'm looking at, the first one is, where is it? A-R-L-O. Arlo Technologies. I am looking at Arlo Technologies. Now, I got some notes on that. I see that Arlo has better than average volume. Looking at the average volume, you got 987 is average, and we're looking at almost 1.3 million in volume. But you want to wait for a pullback if you can catch it around the $5 mark. Once again, wait a few days for this pullback. If you can catch that around the $5 mark, you're good to go. But if for some reason it breaks higher and doesn't pull back, anything over the high price on Friday, which was $5.57, Anything closing above that high price, hey, you got my blessing. Because if this thing happens to not pull back and breaks to the upside, it's going towards the $6 mark quickly, and it looks like it's trying to head towards that next area of resistance where this big red candle is at the $7 mark. So if you grab a 1,000 shares of that and it happens to get to $7, think about it. You done made like almost $1,500 profit, man. Can't beat that. But once again, it appears that it's running into some resistance. And I would suggest, just a suggestion, for you to wait until this thing pulls back near this $5 range. Arlo, keep that stock somewhere because we're going to use it a little bit later. Second stock, where is it? Casa Systems, ticker symbol C-A-S-A. -A. Right now it's trading at $5.36. Now, this I like this because it's broke above. See this little mini trend right here? It's trending down. 
angling down. Recently, within the past week or so, it broke above that resistance line, that magenta line, out of that mini downtrend, and now it's trading up above that downtrend line at $5.36. Once again, I would try to wait for a little pullback around this $5 mark. Right here where this old support area has been formed at right there because it broke out above that resistance area. And normally when a stock breaks out above a resistance area, it generally, not all the time, but it generally tries to pull back to that area and retest. In other words, try to go back to where it broke through. So right now I would hold off a few days and wait until you get a pullback around that $5 mark. Now, the thing that I, I say that I'm waiting on a pullback because I'm looking at my notes and it says, yep, right here it is. RSI is over 70. Actually, it's 72.86, which means that technically speaking, this stock is overbought. Anything that's over RSI 70 is considered overbought which means that it's due to come down so i would hold off on that that's the second stock on my watch list it is mine you can have it use it if you want but this for me man i'm just sharing it with you trying to help you nrz where is it there it is nrz one of my old Faithfuls, New Residential Investment Corporation is a real estate investment trust, a good old REIT, a REIT. I like this. Right now, this is trading at only $9.48 per share, ticker symbol NRZ, New Residential Investment Corp. I can tell you right away that the price of this stock for this company it's too low. Yeah, it's too low. It's going up. Don't know when, don't know how much, but I do know it's going up. Now, the best thing about it, if you are interested in trading this stock, the best thing about it is that you get a dividend. You get paid extra money on top of buying this which now looks to be an excellent time to buy because it looks like it's about to break out right now trading at 948 average volume is four and a half million but on friday the volume was 11 million almost 12 million shares so it almost tripled the average volume now if this thing gets above the high that it traded at which is nine dollars and fifty cents this is going towards $12. So in the coming months, probably between now and the early part of next year, if not even between now and January, this is going towards $12. Best thing about it, they're paying you a 6.33% dividend for you to wait. But it's going up. I'm telling you, I can see it. It's going up. That's the third one. Now, remember what I said. Two out of the three are not ready to be bought, but new residential look like, man, it's any day now. So those three stocks, let us say that you wanted to keep those three stocks in a place so you won't do like what I did. Write them down somewhere in a notebook or on a piece of paper, note card, napkin, and forget about them. Go back to that same website. Good old faithful finviz.com now right now we're on the home page now if you want to put these in your own watch list portfolio go right here to the tab that says <laughs> portfolio click that go right here to the tab where it says create new got it now you gotta name your portfolio you can name it anything that you want you can name it watch list you can name it my watch list. You can name it hope it work. You can even name it stock dude. Anything. Let's let's just name it that stock dude. Stock dude. You name yours whatever you want. 
this this is my video i'm gonna name mine stock dude and you also want to take the ticker symbols the first one that we found a r l o put it right there where it says ticker next one that we found c a s a third one that we found n r z all right y'all with me now where it says shares you can't leave that blank you got to put something in there something has to be in this block something has to be in the price block you have to name it you have to put your ticker symbols in there those are things that you cannot skip or it won't save your watch list portfolio now me personally i usually just put a hundred in there where it says shares so i'll put shares for a hundred shares hundred shares hundred all this website does in this particular portion of the website it basically gives you an opportunity to see if you would have made money if you would have bought a hundred shares of each one of these stocks so you can use this to see if your scans or in this case if my scans would have made money or not and the best thing is it don't cost you nothing you're going to go right here to this tab where it says get today's price now today's sunday so the stock market is not open here the church is open i went there earlier praise the lord but the stock market is not open so this where it says get today's price is going to be actually friday's price so you're going to click it and it's going to put the most recent day's trading price when you hit it. For Arlo, most recent day, $5.37 per share. Click today's price. For Casa, $5.36 per share. New Residential, click today's price, $9.48 per share. Last thing you're going to do is hit save changes once you hit save changes let's do it ladies and gentlemen oh, boys and girls you have just created your very own watch list just like that now you have these three stocks that i'm watching in your very own watch list if you have any other stocks that you want to add to it, that you want to keep organized and keep your eye on, all you do is go right here where it says edit. There it is. It opens it back up and you can put whatever ticker symbols for whatever stocks that you want to keep up with and keep organized to keep your eye on right there. Once you hit save changes, ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, you are now an organized investor who has just created a watch list of stocks that interest you. I'm the one known as the stock dude. If you have enjoyed the content of this video, I ask that you please take the time to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. That way when the next hot video comes out you'll be sure to be alerted and you won't miss a thing i'm the one known as the stock dude i'll holler at you later